Hi everybody. In today's tutorial, we will have some basic knowledge about CSS. Actually, this is my first tutorial uh, of my uh, CSS series. So let's have some uh, uh, objectives today. So to our today's objective is why CSS. Actually, why we use CSS, we will learn about something that. And CSS editor setting, we will use bracket setting and type-wise uses of CSS. Actually, CSS use in use. use uh, three types in inline CSS and internal use of CSS and we will know about external use of CSS uh, so but the three types of CSS we will learn after installing our bracket software in practically okay and some basic of CSS so let's know what is CSS actually as you can see I have written already these things the CSS stands for cascading style sheet actually the main thing is HTML is just only format okay and for for making a good presentation for coloring or for, for background or for size or for border we use css okay css start for cascading style sheet cascading style sheet are used to format the layout of web pages as you can see they can be used to define text style as i mentioned earlier table size and another aspects of web pages that previously could not could only be defined in a HTML pages okay and then why we use CSS the answer is this CSS is the language for describing the presentation of web pages including color layout and font it allow one to adapt to the presentation of different types of devices such as large screen small screen or printers actually this is uh, this make this CSS make compatible the web pages for uh, a Android phone also and for a laptop also and for any other computer also or any other device okay so now we will go on go for the editor actually we can use uh, different types of editor for uh, for learning our css but i prefer most the brackets because it is it is more user friendly let's go for the web browser to download the brackets we will uh, see how user friendly this is okay i am writing the brackets pre-download here and the first side i am clicking on as you can see i have to download this but i have downloaded earlier i think so i did not to download this i am just opening this okay as i, I downloaded earlier okay after clicking this i should this work what happened to my pc okay this is started to okay okay no i don't want to install abro i want to install bracket okay run okay it's finally started to installing next install okay it's started to installing and then after uh, yes then i should pause my video but no i didn't i don't need to uh, pause my video because it's going so fast okay so csing csc uh, css is is css is used uh, for our de for designing our web pages as you no and css is very charming for the children actually they like to design their web pages effectively using various colors and actually to be more professional CSS, uh, you must have to learn you must have some knowledge on css actually to be a web developer um, if you are a programmer but also you have to learn html css or javascript you have you, you must have uh, to gain this knowledge to be a web developer or to be a programmer okay it's taking a little bit time so i think that i should pause my video so i am pausing my video so as you can see finally my bracket is successfully installed and i i am clicking on finish okay 
but no desktop icon is available i have to go on my start menu and i have to right, right click on brackets and i have to pin it to my task bar okay okay there is my bracket software again let me check this i have to click on my i have to set it on my task bar okay it's already on my task bar but i i can't see this where is this actually a lot of my task bar is full that's why i can't see this okay i have to unpin some folder from my task bar then I'm extremely so sorry for taking your time. Okay, no problem. Let me run this, um, run my bracket from the start menu. Okay, as you can see, as you can see, I have to delete all previous folder. Okay. And then I have to click a new folder, okay? And then I have to go on open folder and in, in I am opening a folder from desktop and I'm clicking making a new folder here. New folder, okay? Part. ART part 1 part 11 okay then select select okay as you can see my part 11 is there here and i have to click a new file here call index or you can give any any kind of name there html okay okay my file has been created html and you must sure that you have to click on live preview okay You have to click on live preview and then in in the extension icon you have to go on extension icon and you have to install some extension to make your packet user friendly okay it's taking a little bit time to open the okay extension you have to click on their auto save auto and take your time to get the extension auto sa the auto save as you can see auto save file on windows or window blue and auto save every read i have already installed this and then you have to add another extension emit emit okay emit i already installed this okay let close this let me close this okay then in the debug menu you have to go on the debug menu and you have to open open prepares file and in the json file you will find you will not find this line okay live.dev.multiverser.2 you have to write this file by your, your uh by yourself okay in the in between the uh, double bracket you have to write the live dot live dev dot and then you have to give a clone and true and then comma okay okay and then okay then go on the queue and then okay okay then open your html page okay and now finally i am done and i have to click on live preview. okay then i am writing my html code HTML okay 
and head a c a d head and title and title t i t l title stimulus read title and then my title is css okay in between the json tag what is wrong with this okay and then i have to make my body here do do body and if i write anything my body in my body i should Okay, I should saw everything in my live in my in my web page, but somehow I I am not getting this. I have to refresh this. But if I close my web page and again, I have to make sure that my live view is enabled. And then again, I refresh. If I refresh this, why this is not working? Actually, I don't know. Let me pause my video and let me uh, find the error. So actually, I have to refresh my web page, and then finally, as you can see. It's working. It it is automatically working. Okay, and if I if I if I if I give another uh, hit up another tag here, it will automatically sense. Okay, as you can see, it is becoming smaller than is S two. As you know, S two is smaller than S one. Okay, this is how we can set our brackets, and we can easily get the. A prerequisite topper and it, it's very user friendly as you can see i have i don't have to save anything and if i make a color here um if i want to make a background color b a c k background background c r o u n t background c o l o background color then it should work Great. Actually, I had to write this in my body tag. Okay, it should automatically control P. Background. This is not the syntax. Is equal to R T eight. Okay, it's not working. Actually, I I would like to I would like to teach you about the types of CSS. Okay, so types of CSS like this. I I I'd like to change this sentence. I am. Learning and I am learning CSS. Okay, if I would like to color this line using a style, DUIL style, and um, in between the style tag, if I use COL or color is equal to red, not is equal to color RED red, then as you can see. It's becoming red. Okay, it's becoming red. My uh, title is becoming red. If I make this S one, it will become a little bit more larger. Okay, as you can see, I am giving. I am using the style uh, attribute in between the S one tag. Okay, this is called 
inline use of CSS. Okay, this is called inline use of CSS. And if we remove this style attribute and if we make a actually if we make a style tag here a style style okay and in between the style tag if we use a so one and in between the uh, curly braces if we write the attribute cl or color in clone red as you can see it's our internal use of css as you can see it's our internal use of css i i i take the s1 objective and this is my properties and this is a style tag this tag this is not a attribute okay okay then we will see the external use of css let me remove all of this okay so we have to learn external use of css actually external use of css is, is mostly used in our web page designing we have to make a new folder there is called new file is called style dot css okay style dot css and in the uh, uh, we have to make it split okay okay these are HTML file and these are a style file in the style file we can use our external use s1 c o l o a color color dot red okay and then these are a style file a style file or a style css file external file and in between uh, and uh, just we have to click after the enclosed title li until link clone and tab okay if i use link clone and tab not clone if i write here link and tab nothing happened tab actually this actually this is not link clone this should be l i n k link clone css and pressing tab as you can see i call actually according um, like our programming i call this css file here okay and there, that's why it's taking the attribute directly from the css file so uh, this is our as you can see this is my HTML CSS, style CSS, and this is my HTML. And I call the link from uh, by using link from CSS and tab. And this is taking automatically taking this color red. And if I want to align this, um, align this text into center, text align uh, center, S C N C T center, it will automatically. As you can see it is automatically in our center so this is how we can use our inline css and external css and internal css and in the next tutorial we will have some yeah, different features of css for and um, for now uh, this tutorial be happy and stay happy assalamualaikum